first you want to do it dry mechanically remove the carbon buildup and after that use chemicals because this stuff is getting very very nasty when it's wet so first I would advise mechanically scrape it But looking at the EGR itself, this one doesn't look that bad, so the majority of problems seem to be itself is okay but we have the normal carbon buildup on the intake when our gases are getting in contact with the oil from inside of the engine I might give it a little bit of a clean with petrol but it doesn't look that bad next thing on our list we need to remove this little bit that one we need to do it manually body very, very clean quite okay now let's take a look at our big problem which is this this was the port in the worst condition Again, from the BMW, I've learned that first you try to get rid of the carbon buildup mechanically, and after that, you can use chemicals because all this black stuff has the tendency of making things very dirty. I cannot show it on the camera, but on the inside, it feels very clogged up let's change our approach somehow so by the looks of it these will be the ports the small ones are the ports on which it is recirculating the gases and the rest of them are with fresh clean air and here is very interesting because we can see for a car how the normal port would look like without the EGR gas versus what happens when you recirculate the gases
Looks like I have sand inside. Before I start cleaning this intake manifold, I would like to share with you an interesting construction feature that you will find on this engine. The intake has two different pathways. On one we are going to receive only clean air and on the second one we are receiving the recirculated gases. And it's very interesting that on this car I found for every cylinder we have two ports one will be very clogged up will have quite a lot of soot and the other one is in very good condition so we are able to see and evaluate for a long period of time how the engine would look like if we don't get any recirculated gas and what happens when we are getting the recirculation on the BMW because the intake plume and mixes all the gases both ports would be clogged up on this accord on this 2.2 engine and I think that we can expand this discussion to other generations of this engine I wouldn't expect them to do a major change on the intake this engine is still able to run because it will have half of a port that is very clean and also on this engine I've seen something for the first time one of the ports it is for cylinder number one so this one this one was completely uh, covered by soot so this cylinder was working with air only from one of the ports including the valve everything was completely uh, covered with soot so this is a car with 145,000 miles the carbon buildup it's something that we cannot avoid especially because this car has has been doing low miles so it didn't have time to warm up but at the same time once we get this type of buildup it doesn't really matter your driving style because anyways the intake is um, is compromised but very interesting construction for the guys at, at Honda it will be a little bit more challenging to clean the inside but we will go for it I've 3D printed some covers and this allows me to clean the inside using a minimum amount of chemicals so I don't have a big canister in which I can put the intake completely and also if I'll be using petrol I don't want to have that much petrol in a covered or in a uncovered canister so we're gonna go and do the cleaning let we will see after that how the engine works after we reassemble everything I would be tempted of saying that the chemical that I use, that kitchen cleaner, is much much more efficient than petrol, diesel, brake cleaner or other chemicals that I used in the past.
Here's the approach. When it will be time for us to torque the bolts up, I would start with the middle one, the two upper ones, corner lower and corner upper, upper, because we have a gasket and we want to distribute the force uniformly. Although I don't have the technical specs for this one, what torque, that is what usually you can find on any type of engine and any type of component that has a big gasket. And now we are doing the final tightening of our bolts and nuts for the intake. First we remove our glove. After that we place the gasket. that I remove this little thing that I put to make sure that I'm not losing the lower gasket.
It is alive! It is alive! It's alive!